I'm here for a consult with Dr. Cho about getting a breast augmentation. I have two children and they have kind of taken over my body and I want it back. So um, I'm here with, uh, to see Dr. Cho just because I've known him for so long, um, worked with him in the OR for at least seven years. So um, I, I know I have the advantage of knowing his technique and how well he is with his patients and we've just grown that relationship so I feel comfortable with uh, getting a breast augmentation with them. So I'm excited. I need, I need them to be back up to where they were before I had kids. Okay. I have two kids. The last one is a year and a half now. So it's time to take care of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And overall, do you feel like your weight's back to your pre-pregnancy yes. from the last one? Yes. And do you have any questions about the procedure? I know you've seen some before. Um, I just want to avoid a lift at all uh, possible. Okay. Um, just to back up and okay. hopefully just least invasive. Okay, just using a nipple position somewhat similar, so if you go straight across the base of the nipple, and this one's just a touch higher as well. Mm -hmm. Which usually means that after you have implants, you're going to find that the left side might be just a touch higher when you look down. Okay. But both nipples are forward facing, so I don't think you necessarily need a, uh, a breast lift. Okay. Um, you just to measure the breast diameter. So How big are we talking about? As large as you potentially want. So we'll do some sizing shortly. Okay. And then with the sizing, you can kind of get a range of what you feel like is too much, not enough. Okay. When you were breastfeeding, did you feel like you liked the size? No, I wanted it smaller. You want a little bit smaller? Yeah. Okay. So you already have a little bit of a guide in, internally of like, for, for what you like. So yeah. you can. or the full because they may have some of mm -hmm. the upper pole. Um, they're both pretty soft and you're going to have a little bit of tissue, but you can feel that there's not much difference um, between the two. Mm -hmm. This one's going to hold more of that upper pole. These are all about the same cc's, but you mm -hmm. see that there's a different footprint for each yeah. one. Each one comes out a little bit higher. Gotcha. So you want to think of that diameter as like the shoe size and then the um, projection as like the heel. Mm -hmm. So we already said that you were shying away from the high mm -hmm. profile. And with these ones, you get more of a like uh, more of that side breast. Right. But if you ever wanted to have some of that profile, then you just put it in like a, a push up bra. Yeah. Push it yeah, together that's and get it. Yeah. So it just, um, this is probably going to give you a little bit more side breast, and mm -hmm. this is going to be like the difference of the two. So, okay. And I think that with your shaving run, mm -hmm. I think this might be nice. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah.